Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Through our channel Science Intellectual, we are providing all the details of different sections under Indian Patents Act 1970. In this video particularly, we are discussing about sections 12, 13 and 14 that comes under chapter 4. publication and examination of applications first we will discuss section 12 examination of application subsection 1 says based on the request for examination made by the applicant in form 18 under subsection 1 or 3 of section 11b that we have already covered in our previous video the application along with the specification and documents will be sent by the controller to the examiner for making a report so after filing form 18 requesting for examination the application will be examined by examiner the examination will be done on the following aspects whether the application is made in accordance with the requirement of the act and rules whether there is any lawful ground of objection to the grant of patent under the act the result of investigation made under section 13 or any other matter which may be prescribed that is the examination will be done on the aspect that whether the application is following all the requirement under this act and rule or there is any lawful ground of objection may be under section 3 and 4 or there is any anticipation that will be discussed shortly under section 13 or any other matter maybe the fees and forms are properly made or not those will be examined the relevant rule is rule 24b 21 now what happens during examination once a request for examination is received the application is published under section 11a the application is now taken up for examination next the controller refer the application specification and other documents related to the application to the examiner who is specialized in the respective field of the invention At present patent office has four examination groups based on the broad area of specialization. Number 1 chemistry and allied subjects, number 2 biotechnology, microbiology and allied subjects, next electrical, electronics and other related subjects, and the last one is mechanical and other subjects. Subsection 2 under section 12. The examiner to whom the application is forwarded for examination the examiner now will make a report on the matter described and to the controller he will convey his report within 1 month and not exceeding 3 months from the date of reference of the application to him by the controller the relevant rule is rule 24b 22 In case of ordinary examination the controller has to dispose of the report of examiner within 1 month from the date of receipt of the same from the examiner and in case of expedited examination that comes under rule 24c 1 month but not exceeding 2 months from the date of reference of the application to him by the controller the examiner will convey his report to the controller so let's have a look in the time frame request for examination or date of publication of the same whichever is later is done within one month of that the reference to the examiner by the controller is done within one month to three months maximum report of examination made by the examiner is done within 1 month of that disposal of report by the controller is done and within 1 month from that first examination report is issued now let's come to section 13 search for anticipation by previous publication and prior claim why it is important 
an invention is considered as new or novel if it is not anticipated by prior publication in patent or even non patent literature that is an invention is novel if it has not been disclosed in any prior art where the prior art means everything that has been published presented or otherwise disclosed to the public before the date of filing or date of priority of complete specification the prior art should disclose the invention either in explicit or in implicit manner now let's discuss section 13 search for anticipation by previous publication and prior claim subsection 1 says the examiner under section 12 shall make an investigation for ascertaining whether the invention so far as claimed in any claim of the complete specification a has been anticipated by publication before the date of filing of applicant's complete specification in any patent specification made in india on or after 1st jan 1912 or b is claimed in any claim of complete specification published on or after date of filing of applicant's patent but being a specification in pursuance of patent application made in india dated before or claiming the priority date earlier than that date that is it will be checked whether there is any publication that has been made before the date of filing of applicant's patent application or it will be checked if there is any application that has been published after the date of filing of applicant's complete specification but that has priority date before the date of applicant's filing date the relevant rule is rule 28 and 29 now upon examination under section 13 if controller finds there is any prior publication or prior claim in that case he will call for a hearing or he may ask to amend the application section 13 subsection 2 it recites the examiner shall ascertain whether the invention has been anticipated by publication in india or elsewhere in any document other than mentioned under subsection 1 before the date of filing of applicant's complete specification that is in that case it will be also checked whether there is any other document also other than patent document also before the date of filing of applicant's complete specification that document whether publishes any related matter regarding this present complete specification subsection 3 where the complete specification is amended under the provision of this act before grant of patent the amended specification will also be examined in like manner as the original even if the complete specification is amended as per requirement that amendment part will be examined as new subsection 4 the examination and investigation shall not be deemed in any way to warrant the validity of the patent and no liability shall be incurred by the central government or any officer thereof or in connection with any such report or other proceedings consequent thereon the examiner ascertains the following international patent classification search strategy keywords database prior art finding limitation on search if any such as non clarity of claims multiplicity of inventions or any other reason due to which a reasonable search cannot be conducted now let's discuss section 14 consideration of the report of examiner by the controller If the report of the examination received by the controller is adverse to the applicant or requires any amendment of the application the controller will communicate the gist of objection to the applicant as expeditiously as possible and if so required by the applicant give him an opportunity of being heard 
that is if the examination report is adverse or against grant of patent in that case that report will be communicated to the applicant and if any amendment is required that also will be communicated to the applicant and applicant will be given a chance to be heard relevant rule is rule 28 and rule 28a there are some few points that needs to be remembered no patent is refused without giving an opportunity of being heard patent is granted as early as possible if there is no objection to the grant of patent or there is no pending pre-grant opposition if you are is sent to the applicant even the request for examination has been filed by a person interested in that case an intimation will be sent to that person FER may contain office objections relating to lack of novelty, lack of inventive steps, or lack of industrial applicability, or subject matter is falling under the purview of Section 3 and 4. The request for expedited examination, if it is received, the controller shall refer the request for expedited examination along with the application specification and other documents to the examiner. Provided that the request for examination in case of expedited examination under rule 24c filed by a startup shall not be questioned merely on the ground that the startup ceased to be a startup after having filed an application for patent due to the lapse of more than five years from the date of its incorporation or registration or the turnover crossed the financial threshold limit Thank you viewers for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe our channel Scientelectual. We will keep on posting more videos regarding sections, rules, forms, fees under Indian Patents Act 1970. This will be very helpful for the preparation of Indian Patent Agent exam. Thanks again.